Hi everyone, this is the After School Leader of the Holmesburg Library with a board game recommendation and review. So today I wanted to talk about the board game Telestrations, which is a uh, fun party game if you have a sizable group of people. I would recommend it with five or more people, but it's best with eight players. And uh, it can be played pretty quickly uh, within around 30 minutes or even 15 minutes, uh, depending on you know your group and such. And uh, it's also pretty simple, so uh, even little kids could play with adults. Um, and uh, also something else too is that uh, this does not actually require any supplies or anything. So this is Telestrations, but you can actually just play this with paper and pencil. Uh, all you need is just some bl blank wh white paper, and uh, as long as you fold the pages back, uh, you can play this game. So how it works is basically um, every single player, like let's say there's five players, uh, will get a piece of paper and a pencil at the start, and then everyone will write a sentence uh, down or like a phrase or a word, and then uh, they'll fold it back so that that uh, phrase or word can't be seen. Uh, can't be seen. Then they'll pass it to the next player to the left. And then the next player will look at the word, or, or uh, unfold it, look at the word, and then fold it back again. Then they'll draw a uh, thing to go to uh, go along with that um, uh, word or phrase or sentence. And then they will fold that back, and then the next, and then pass it to the next person. Then the next person will take that piece of paper. They'll fold it back so they can only see the picture, and then they will. Uh, basically try to, uh, f well, they'll fold it back again and then they'll uh, try and write out what they think that it, what, what they think it is in words. So then this is going to keep uh, repeating where one player will draw a picture, next player will uh, look at only the picture and um, write down what they think it is, then the next person will look at only the word of the previous person and they'll write what they think it is. So it's kind of hard to uh, un understand from that explanation, so as an example, um, th these are some images I p picked up online. So in the original game, like let's say you know we got a word where you, you had to throw uh, where it was like you know some ninja or some fighting stars. Then the next person might guess, oh, this is throwing star, of course, because you know this is a throwing star. And then the next person uh, looks at only this word and it says throwing star. So then they think, okay, I'm gonna throw a star, and they throw a star into the clouds or whatever. But then the next person is only looking at this picture and they say, okay, so someone's tossing it into the clouds, so it's playing catch with a uh, person uh, on the cloud, all right? And the next person uh, look at this and he's like, okay, so it's playing catch, all right? I can draw that on the cloud, no problem. So he draws uh, the cloud and person playing catch, and then of course the next person uh, it's uh, catching a, a sky high pop fly so that's how like something like ninja could evolve to like this and uh as uh the words and uh phrases get more complicated it becomes funnier or just more uh enjoyable to try and guess and such uh there's also some simple combinations where you, you wouldn't expect it but then uh it makes it a lot uh funnier or like uh just changes it a lot so for example here, uh, cheesecake, you know, a person does guess the right cheesecake, but then uh, next person draws a cheese and a cake, but then the next person thinks, okay, that's a train, so it's a cheese train, you know? Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, so this is the commercial version, Telestrations, but you could play this with uh, paper and pencil just fine. And uh, uh, this is another example um, where someone has a soccer ball, right, and they draw a soccer ball, but then the next person thinks it looks like a pizza, so the next person draws a pizza, and then the next person thinks it's a piece of cheese, you know, with holes in it. Alright, and now I'll show you some versions without the, uh, telestration, uh, you know, materials, just paper and pencil. So, for example, this, the first person, uh, wrote down the sentence, drop it like it's hot, and they folded it back. Then the next person drew it, a person, you know, cooking something, and then they dropped it, you know, and then, uh, they folded it back. So then this person can only see this picture, and they're like, okay, it's hot burning bacon, and the next person draws the hot burning pig, because it's bacon, and, uh, you know, it goes on like that. And here's another example, where, you know, Larry the hairy pig, and then, um, someone draws, draws this thing, but then it looks like, uh, a pig and a penguin working out on a treadmill on the 4th of uh, July, so the next person draws that, you know, a pig and a penguin working out on a treadmill, and it's the 4th of July fireworks, but then the next person thinks, okay, it's, it's a butcher in a snowstorm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this uh, game can be pretty fun, and uh, it can lead to a lot of really funny laughs, and it's really nice for big groups. I would recommend it with, like, you know, five or more, but uh, if you could uh, get some people together and you want to try it out, it's uh, really simple, and um, if you want to come up with your own sentences, that's fine, but there's also like online generators if you want to Google like a phrase or something. And you could, you know, uh, the, the wackier the phrase, the funnier it will usually be. And uh, it can be pretty fun at the very end to uh, for everyone to share their pictures and see how their thing evolved. And usually you would play this until you get your paper back, so you know, you keep passing this in turn until uh, it comes all the way around the table. So like if there's eight people, there might be like four pictures or something, and, and then it's uh, pretty fun to look at, to look back at. 
Okay, so that is uh, Telestrations, and if you you know if you want the commercial version, it's available at stores like Target and such. But if you want to just play it, you could just use paper and pencil, and it's totally fine. Uh, so definitely check that out. Really fun party game, and I I highly recommend it.